Okay, the modes for symmetric block encryption algorithms. Um, now, this, uh, th these modes, there's, uh, I think there's five, um, are uh, uh, used for any symmetric block algorithms, uh, can be used. And uh, we'll go through um, some of what you might use them for as we're describing them. Um, when I am discussing details and giving numbers and parameters and that sort of thing, I will probably be using the numbers for uh, DES, again, not because DES is important, but just because it is, you know, a standard example of a uh, symmetric block algorithm. And so, uh, anyway, um, the first and simplest mode is known as electronic codebook, or ECB. Um, now, each block of plain text is encrypted, processed independently. Um, so, uh, this is simple, and you know, that, that sounds reasonable, yes, but uh, the thing is that it uh, allows for more possibilities of attack um, because uh, identical input gives identical output. And so if you start to notice in the uh, ciphertext that you have a whole bunch of blocks that are identical, then you know the original input was identical, then you can start attacking in a variety of different ways. So, um, so that's, that's electronic codebook. Um, and uh, so we go on to cipher block chaining, or CBC. Uh, now, we, we introduce a couple of uh, additional factors here. One is the initialization vector. And again, uh, salt, uh, challenge, nonce, uh, initialization vectors, all the same thing, just a piece of random data um, that we use to make uh, it more difficult uh, to figure out what's going on in the encryption. Uh, so, XOR, uh, exclusive OR, uh, they, you know, it's a very simple uh, gate level uh, function that we use an awful lot in encryption. So we XOR the first plain text block with the initialization vector. And then we encrypt the result of that process with the key for our first ciphertext. And then we XOR the second block of plain text with that first block of ciphertext. And so we go until the end of the stream. Now, this means that even if we have identical input in the plain text, it's not going to be the same in the output ciphertext. So we have uh, prevented this attack on processing according to the possibilities when we have a bunch of identical text. Uh, unfortunately, this is where the error correction comes in because, as uh, previously noted, um, the, uh, if we make a, a mistake in processing the first data block, if we flip one bit in that first data block, then it affects everything else, and the entire stream is garbage. But, as I say, you know, with Des, with uh, most symmetric block algorithms, we have this error correction so that we can uh, get back and, and one mistake doesn't mess up the entire thing. So, um, 
the yeah so that that obscures the repeating patterns in the plain text so uh now uh the next one is known as cipher feedback and the first thing we do here is encrypt the initialization vector and that becomes ciphertext zero uh the first thing that we send so we XOR the first plain text with the encrypted initialization vector. And while we are transmitting uh, ciphertext 1 uh, or ciphertext 0, um, we can encrypt ciphertext 1. We, and, and then we XOR the plain text with the encrypted ciphertext 1. And so we go. So there's a little bit of parallelization here of the operation. So we can use the cipher feedback or CFB as um, kind of like a stream uh, mode. Uh, well, yeah, uh, it's, it's a stream mode of a block um, uh, algorithm. Um, as I said, uh, getting, you know, stream algorithms is, is more difficult. Okay, so that's cipher feedback. Output feedback, OFB, is the next one. And we encrypt the initial initialization vector with the key, uh, and that becomes the second initialization vector. And you keep on going with that. You can actually do this because you notice we haven't dealt with the plain text yet. And, and so we can generate sort of a key stream with this repeated encryption of the initialization vector. And then we XOR the plain text with the initialization vector. So this uh, works very well as a key stream. It's independent of the plain text and the ciphertext, and it can be generated in advance. So, you know, we can do the stream uh, encryption uh, very quickly. And then the last one is counter, CTR. Um, and, and this is, you know, we uh, increment the original initialization vector, which we have just chosen randomly, uh, by one for each block. Um, and then encrypt each initialization vector with the key. Again, we haven't dealt with the plain or ciphertext yet. And, and then we XOR the plain text with the IV key stream. And, and the key stream generation here can be parallelized. So this, this would allow us to produce something very quickly and uh, generate uh, the key stream on the fly uh, as large as we want. Um, you know, as long as we've got uh, processing power to do that, uh, and, and that happens more quickly than, than we generate data. Um, so counter is, uh, you know, definitely going to be the fastest um, stream mode of a block cipher.